Okay, this isn't something I thought I'd ever ask, but would you put cheese on me? Yes. Am I a cheeseburger? Yes! <laughs> well done, Katie. Okay, who's next? Me, me. Okay, Lexi, you're... <coughs> I'll get your meds. <coughs> I'll get some water. Come on, ladies. It's getting late. Time to get to bed. The Sandman's got dreams waiting for you, yeah? I know Dad's sick and it makes him cough, but I don't get what's wrong with him. He's got lung cancer, though I'm not sure exactly what that means, little sis. The bathroom seems bigger and more alien than normal. We're not in the bathroom. We're at Medikids HQ. Affirmative. Welcome, Cody. Welcome, Lexi. We heard you have questions about your dad's lung cancer. Well, we are going to teach you everything you need to know. Ready? Adventure and not having to brush my teeth? I'm in. Absolutely. After a quick teleportation, the girls find themselves in the lungs of Mediland, a planet that looks and works just like the human body. Who are those guys? These are cells. Your lungs are made up of these building blocks called cells. Granddad would love this. He's got some good stories, but I bet he's never met a giant cell. Um, not to be that annoying person who is always asking questions, but what's happening? Cancer is happening. In some people, cells in the lungs can start to grow out of control. These cells form a lump called a tumour. Lung cancer happens when a tumour that starts in the lungs is malignant. Hey, no running in the house. Uh, body. Malignant? That doesn't sound like a good word. Malignant means cells in the tumour can spread to other parts of the body. There are different types of lung cancer. Some types start in the cells that line the airways. Others start elsewhere in lung tissue. Whatever is happening, I do not like it. Readings indicate we are experiencing a symptom, which is a problem in the body caused by lung cancer. Symptoms include coughing, chest pain, or trouble breathing. Phew, glad that's over. Um, Lexi, your hair is a bit of a mess. So is yours, and I love it. A cough caused by lung cancer might be a new cough that won't go away or it might be a change to the way an old cough sounds or feels. Blood may be coughed up if the cancer has caused damage to the lungs. Um, Chi, did you invite a bunch of creepy looking things? And if you did, we need to find you new friends. They are no friends of mine. These guys are here to cause a lung infection. A person with lung cancer may get an infection, like bronchitis or pneumonia, that doesn't get better, even after antibiotics. It's getting a bit too crowded in here. Better head back to HQ and regroup. A quick teleport back to Medikids HQ. You just saw a few of the symptoms of lung cancer, but there are others. The person may get tired easily, lose his or her appetite, and his or her voice can change. These symptoms suggest lung cancer, but to be sure, doctors need to do some scans to see what's going on inside the body. The commonest scans are CT scans and PET scans. They'll also do a bronchoscopy, which uses a little camera on a thin tube to look inside the airways. During the bronchoscopy, the doctors can take a sample of the lung tissue. They can study this tissue under a microscope looking for cancer cells. I do not feel good about what is happening right now. An alternative to a bronchoscopy is a needle biopsy, where a fine needle is inserted into the chest. There are many ways to treat lung cancer, like surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, targeted therapy, immunotherapy, and palliative treatment. Load up, it's treatment time. Targeted therapy uses drugs and other substances to more precisely identify and attack cancer cells. Back in the lungs. Many patients with lung cancer will have radiation therapy, which uses energy rays to kill cancer cells. Ha! You'd better run! Chemotherapy uses drugs to kill the cancer cells. Immunotherapy can boost the immune system so that the immune system can help kill the cancer cells. Immune system! Smash beauty cancer cells! Sometimes doctors will use a combination of these treatments. Always love me some teamwork. I love people fearing me. Take that! 
In some people with lung cancer, surgery can be used to remove the cancer. Doctors will take out part of a lung or they might need to remove a whole lung to make sure the cancer is taken out. We've got cancer on the run. These treatments are awesome. They are, but all treatments have side effects. For example, radiation therapy can hurt the skin, sort of like a sunburn. Affirmative. Chemotherapy side effects can make your father feel tired and sick to his stomach. It may also cause his hair to fall. Out. Our work here is done. Let's head back to HQ. Back at the HQ. There is also another kind of treatment called palliative care. Palliative care doesn't work to get rid of the cancer. It's more about making quality of life and time with family better. The palliative care team may suggest, for example, taking certain medicines that will reduce pain. So why did our dad get lung cancer anyway? Doctors aren't sure exactly what causes lung cancer, but we do know that the main risk factor is cigarette smoking. Lung cancer is also more common as we get older and if there is lung cancer in the family. These are called risk factors. However, people may get lung cancer even without risk factors, just as some people with risk factors may never get lung cancer. For smokers, the best way to reduce your risk of getting lung cancer is by not smoking, which helps at any age. Even stopping smoking if you get lung cancer can help with treatment. I'm glad we understand our dad's lung cancer now, but thinking about him being sick still makes me feel sad. Yeah, finding out Dad was sick was scary. It's okay to feel those things. It's completely natural. Your Dad and Mum probably feel the same. It's a bit odd. Sometimes Dad acts totally happy, like nothing is wrong. Yeah, but other times he just seems so sad and wants to be alone. Everyone deals with cancer differently. You just need to give your Dad and yourselves time to adjust. Treatment can be hard on your Dad. But don't worry, his hospital team will keep a close eye on him. If you or your dad and mum are ever overwhelmed by worry or feelings of sadness, there are psychologists and counsellors that can help. The big thing I want you to remember is that you are not alone. There are families all over the world going through the exact same thing. Hmm, we learned a lot today. Better make sure we got it all down. Lung cancer happens when cells in the lungs grow out of control. This can cause problems like coughing, pain, trouble breathing and weight loss. There are lots of different treatments for lung cancer. Palliative treatment can help my dad feel better, but it won't get rid of the cancer. What's cool is that there are loads of specialists that are going to work real hard as a team to take care of our dad. To take care of our lungs and keep them healthy, we shouldn't smoke. A perfect summation. I shall now teleport you back home. The next morning. Dad, how are you feeling? Better, my loves. I'm sorry I had to cut the game short last night. Sometimes my cancer gets to be a bit much. Don't worry, Dad. We get it. We know all about lung cancer now. You do? We do. But what we want you to know is 